Might as well be doing something while you're while we're all here. Something fun. Something I like fun. it. I to me, I yeah. to me, I, I, as much as there's days like I just you know you just want to. Mm. It's just, it's just brutal. It's still. Yeah not the worst thing you could be doing by any stretch of imagination you always seem to find a highlight or something yeah, they exactly. think yeah okay i'll do this again tomorrow i mean i want to but a, i'm gonna do yeah. it yeah there's always a win close by it, it feels like it right you gotta keep going for them it's fun yeah, yeah. i like it yeah. yeah it's fun to be part of healthy food and living and yeah you know what better way to add to your life and lifestyle and everything so what are you doing with this then like so what because you entered with it's um it's a prebiotic mm -hmm. uh, probiotic probiotic uh, zero sugar probiotic soda yeah okay i okay. so we tried it we got our samples um oh, it was yesterday day before whatever and i put them in the fridge i had the lemon lime and i think i threw daniel uh i don't know if it was the orange yeah, yeah, that's because I told him I said try these for me because my yeah. son's about 25 26 okay. health freak is lots of he really liked them. Yeah. Actually, I did too, to be honest with you. I did. I thought yeah. they were actually very good. Um, for me, it's I because I, I was like, I just wanted to know from you, like, why why this space? Like, what I guess for anything, mm -hmm. what you should do is we should tell people what you're doing because we typically take an hour and a half so, to get there. So, so let me, let me just do this and then we can get back to the conversation. So, yeah, we're, um, we're here with, uh, John McClellan. Um, he's the co founder of, of Cove Drinks. And what we're doing is part of a spotlight on CHFA Launchpad finalists. So um, John and his team um, are finalists with the Launchpad. And they just got a super cool, um, you know, really, really cool um, product that's out on the market now. And um, we have lots of questions, but we will we. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we have lots and lots of questions, but um, thought that what we would do is kind of spotlight the team and and just, um, you know, let John tell us what uh, Cove um, drinks is. Um, and then um, I'm, I'm curious about the thing you're holding up in front of um, you and your your brother's faces in the about me section. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so so maybe let's do that. And then you can tell us who you are and, and what's going on. Perfect. No, thanks. Yeah, so Cove started out east. We're from Halifax. We're the Halifax area guys. And we got it going just out of pure curiosity, really. My brother was making it on his own. Always really liked, you know, entrepreneurship. Had that, a lot of that in my family. Um, but we ended up, you know, took it to the farmer's market and just got addicted to, uh, you know, growing and, and products in general and the community that centers around you know, building something. So we just set off building uh, our kombucha brand and have turned it into now more of like a, a full gut health beverage company. So we have the kombuchas that are nationally distributed. Um, and then now the sodas that just launched nationally as well in October. And um, yeah, it seems we found like a, a really nice drink with the sodas. It's, uh, it's something unique. It's uh, unique to the market, unique to you know what's out there already um not a lot of zero sugar beverages uh you know zevia kind of had its place for a really long time um but not a lot of competition or or uniqueness that came in so i think it's definitely like a new new uh new category that's developing that we're going to see develop here in the next five years these healthy sodas um and yeah we think we have a really nice one that that uh you know seems Seems very approachable and uh, easy drinking. So, yeah. and the soda is your launch pad product, right? Soda is our launch yeah. pad product. Yeah, Thanks. exactly. Yeah, it launched awesome. across Canada in October. So, still a really new product for us, you know, first six months. So, gathering lots of feedback and, and um, you know, getting lots of good opportunities as well. We just went through a whole rebrand, which was, uh, you know, a big part of our big lift into you know, moving away from being kind of an East coast to try and making this more of a national, uh, you know, longer term player. So we, we wanted to have it's beautiful products and, yeah. and wanted to be a bigger player yeah. in the game. So the, the product's beautiful. And then I think the other things, right. Like, so, um, benefits like it's, it's vegan, naturally colored, naturally sweetened, non GMO, gluten free, caffeine free. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's, a. It's organic, it's really right? Tasty. Like, yeah, yeah. Looks. It's really it tasty. Looks really but honestly, it really is. There's four flavors, though, right? Not three. 
there's a fourth flavor that just came out, the cherry cherry. Uh, okay. It's the fourth one you probably got. Yeah. Right. I I got four. I got the well two. Wait, did he just did he just spill a trade secret? Like, or is that out already? Or not? Nah. Did you get a cherry or did you get ice pop? I shouldn't be. I thought it was cherry. Yeah, it makes sense that it's cherry. I'm pretty sure yeah. it was cherry. I got I had four, I had four in the fridge. There's two left in the fridge. Okay. Okay, and they're all uh, different flavors. Well, then there were one of one. We had four flavors. You would uh, recognize that. Two different, two different labels, though, because I was going to ask you that. We don't have to do this right now. Maybe Phil can cut things out if he wants to. But <laughs> I, I, I tell you why, because I really, it's hard for me on this one because I almost want to go do a podcast on this one yeah, because yeah. I was kind of intrigued about um, the space you're in because soda is not easy. No. Um, okay. the label is it's got a re- you'll like them Phil because it's got you won't, well you won't you'll have to wait till the but, show but I, I have I have lots it's got of a questions retro in kind of feel too. yeah 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 it's kind of got a really cool like, feel to it it's, it's contemporary but it's kind of old school yeah. it's also it's also very um uh I hope you don't take offense but it's it's not it's um the packaging is non healthy. Mm-hmm. um just so you know say, like in the sense like, like it's, if a, I pick up the orange, it's a pepsi can like if i pick yeah. up the orange it makes me think of fanta or c plus mm-hmm. for example thank you but, oh, i said but, that to daniel yesterday yeah but oh, that's really? exactly what i said yeah but, but i think that. but i don't think that's like i don't mean it in a bad way in that mm-hmm. you know you look you know like a mass product i actually think the other way around is i think what you've done is is um you put a little bit of a uh it's not cool factor but you you put a put a bit of cachet into the product in a way that like you know cuz kids really know they know when something's good for them because mm-hmm. the packaging is a little yeah, you know true. you know yeah. and so they kind of intuitively go no no that yeah. it's going to suck in taste right like so it doesn't matter how good it is yeah. it, 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 it immediately takes a discount because it's healthy right but in your First case thing we noticed it looks great like the packaging that's looks, what daniel and i said know, Phil. yeah we took yeah. it i said what do you think he goes this looks like pop <laughs> i said i said i know i said is yeah. that good or bad he goes, yeah. what do you mean i said well like that's i think a ballsy, for adoption that's a ballsy approach yeah, i said but you know, i think where, for adoption where, you want that i know right? but i said where does it go yeah does it because i lo- i really thought it was cool i like i like the label Mm-hmm. I like yeah. the colors. I love that it's mm, in a the lemon cap. lime. The lemon but it lime kind of is freaked right there. me out at the same time too. Because I'm and the grape. The grape really looks like a like a grape Fanta, right? Like what yeah. I would drink as a kid. <laughs> the actually. grape's been just like going nuts. Like people, like we've been having some crazy sales. Like it's been something that even we didn't expect. Um, at Costco, like you really get a sense of it at Costco because it's just such a warehouse and it's just yeah. like cases are just flying at costco we were just kind of shocked because we already had the kombucha in there we kind of had an idea you know okay well our kombucha sells this much per week you know and that's a good size category well geez this stuff just blew it out of the water we were you know, again you're back to your pop like you've done the right yeah. thing and you're not though because this yeah. is not an unhealthy drink it's two cows if i'm not mistaken we, yeah it's down to zero now but okay because yeah. daniel daniel goes well dad because really? he's a healthy guy he goes i don't want i said daniel there's nothing in this no place. his 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 boy is like he's healthy. if you got if you got approval from the boy yeah you did that okay. is because like, he actually weighs like he's a health nut that way he weighs right. all his food he weighs right. everything so if he doesn't weigh it he can't eat it right <laughs> so i had right? to read so, a label to him right yeah, right. I, yeah. Poured, I poured it in a glass group? If you can get yeah. past that group and actually taste delicious, like it means there's a lot of people that it's probably going to appeal yeah. to. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And like you, Phil you said, can tell your people it's Daniel approved. Yeah, Dan, yeah exactly. Daniel approved. Yeah, and it's funny, you know what? Because again, as a parent, like not that it matters anymore because they're older. But mm-hmm. if see if I put this out, they're going to think it's a pop. Yeah, I could drink ten cans of it. I really don't care. Yeah. 10 cans of Coke is not the best idea on the planet. No. 10, count, so, 10 cans of Coke? Sure, go ahead. Do whatever you want. 10 cans of Coke, well, yeah. 400 yeah. grams of sugar. You'd, you'd be ripping. But, but you know, yeah, like but and yours is like zero sugar, but it also has like a billion probiotics in it. Yeah, but it's got some yeah. probiotics in it. Yeah, that's now, really well, cool. One thing I was going to ask you, like, there was two sets of labels. You did a label change already. like. Yeah, we've been like just tweaking, tweaking, tweaking to make it better. 
Okay, uh, so I did was two. This is the one that makes more sense where you tell me gut healthy soda. I think the yeah. other one said so. I can't remember what the other one said. Yeah, it's definitely gotten a lot better. And even there's, I don't know exactly which version you have, but I don't know. The final, final one's the sharpest for sure. There was ended up being three total. So, but uh, yeah, it's been really fun. It's been really fun. Um, and we're lucky that we kind of had the background in kombucha, you know, it, uh, yeah, you're the industry, in you know, yeah, there's so much to learn that those years were pretty important to get us ready for yeah. now all of a sudden it's, you know, it'll be in the West coast, you know, you'll start seeing a lot more here come May, June, July. For and sure. who's it, who's it going through? I've completely derailed this that fast thought, Phil, sorry. No, not I, at all. I, I, we should have just done a podcast because not I just wanted to talk about. No, this something. one's. This I was one's intrigued big. by it. It's big. So yeah. you're distributed yeah. via who? Uh, so Unify carries it. Yeah. Um, it's going to be out in Costco, so that'll be a big awareness one. Um, we're talking to. It's already in all the Safeways. Cool. Uh -huh. um, okay. We'll get it into the Savons, and obviously it's in the Sobies now too. Right. And where are they put in it? next to uh, pot? where are they placing it so they've been putting it um in the natural value section um next to maybe what's an example that i see a lot beside would be like zevia you know close to all that mm -hmm. stuff mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna put it in my stores going next to coke nice yeah see how it, and we're gonna so, kick the shit out of coke <laughs> well in dartmouth our local <laughs> store where we have a lot more awareness <laughs> we we outsold pepsi um on a couple days there we were sitting right beside them we went head to head That's the way to do it man like awesome. our cases were, they sold more cases but we had more dollars so it was an interesting day for sure we were we were kind of curious like okay you know seems like there was some people wanting a healthy soda you know for sure what's your yeah. time yeah uh, I, so, I'm gonna ask you all this stuff next week anyway. I guess so. Let's have some of it now. No, no, but it's so, important, right? Because we're, we're actually like, yeah. like, if people are listening, this is this is stuff you need to know, right? So they know when they swing by the booth. Yeah, they should be ready to do deals already, John. When they get yeah, to the we booth, we should be able to do deals. Like what? So what? This yeah. retails at what? Uh, so two ninety nine regular price for a okay. single. We've been doing a lot of two for five, and that seems to be in like that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah, and like two for five throughout a lot of the period of the year i think that's the, that's the sweet spot mm. um we got the four packs that just launched as well they're 9.99 um yeah. and i don't think we'll feature those too much because uh you know that's kind of is the deal to get you know to trade up mm. and get you know buy more so um yeah so those are kind of the prices in canada yeah i think if you're if you're going to the show as a retailer to the chfa i think you should stop by because there's not a lot, there's really not a lot of stuff within sort of um, the soda, soda pop set that's mm -hmm. good. For, I shouldn't say not a lot. There's nothing. And honestly, to tell you the truth, like, okay, we're, we're going to beat someone else up. I feel, I'm going to beat everybody up today. You know, Zevia, I just hate the name because it just screams Stevia. It's It, it screams like this Diet weird, Coke to me. I don't like it's it. It's a weird name. Like when I saw you, I, I got this at the house. I had no idea what mm -hmm. it was. Mm -hmm. exactly. And I looked at it, I thought, Jesus Christ, you're going to do pop at the show. That's uh, that's a little ballsy. <laughs> and then I looked, I thought, oh, it's got probiotics. Oh, it's got no sugar. Yeah. Okay, what the hell is this thing? Yeah, exactly. It's awesome. Right? So then I, awesome. I mean, you know, I cooled them down, took them out. I thought, shit, these are actually, these are, these are, these are good. I, yeah. I can do these. <laughs> so funny. Like the taste is really the kicker in the end, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, what well, has to be right start oh, checking out the boxes now. and all of a sudden you taste yeah. it it's delicious yeah it's kind yeah. of catching people off guard yeah it's it's good and but phil you, what you'll love about it too because you picked up on it right the way that i told daniel i said this is fanta yeah Not i know fanta, but yeah, this, like, is, this is what you know or old remember orange, we had the the orange crush yes mm -hmm. like yeah. old like a grape crush yeah like i thought yeah. this guy this is really cool they've gone well down grape crush is, is beyond me it's it's kind of old like you so i i don't <laughs> don't listen to him john <laughs> well, okay listen the grape grape crush you can hardly find it anywhere so it's like there's actually a ton of people that love that flavor because we they grew just... up on that stuff yeah the grapes been Fanta, selling, orange yeah. crush grape crush yeah Cherry soda. Exactly. and cream soda cream soda and cream soda yeah cream we've soda got a really good. good cream soda coming yeah. out it's not really... a boy it's actually you're gonna, you're gonna cost I... you're gonna cost some you're gonna cause the, the pop guys a little bit of grief 
it's tasty the king soda for sure i yeah. love it i'm I looking forward to this soda. yeah i'll um, have to get you guys some samples for sure all right we're, we're, we'll just hang around the booth all week next yeah, week there won't be any cream soda we'll, there but... yeah there uh, okay <laughs> um john thank you for doing this this is amazing um good yeah, luck at launchpad um we we're excited we'll we'll be there to root you on and and um see what happens and then uh if you're watching this um what do you know what booth you're at i don't sorry know what booth I, di at. I didn't ask anyway look them up they're going to be there go we'll go check up. out cove um and then uh and then and then go list it pick it up get his stuff into your store um john thanks so much and we'll see you next week that was a pleasure yeah, yeah appreciate it Thank you. All right,